Yo, what up everybody? It is now time for 2018 Donner's Optic Football. Six box half case break number four. 74 actually. Or is it four? No, it is four. Or at least that's what my thing says. Yep, it's number four. Hey, it's on the screen too. There you go. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. You know, Aaron, as far as James Harden is concerned, I'm not a fan. I, I I don't like players that don't play defense. Especially James Harden. That that guy just He plays that Ole defense, you know what I'm saying? He just he just lets people get by him. And you know, does not care. Alright, let me make sure this is decent because the glare on this it's kind of cray. If 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 James Harden played defense, man, he would be he he'd be the best player in the NBA. Honestly. But no. Oh, that's right. I'm missing the uh, the old rose bow. Did it just start or what? Because I have been uh, out of the loop today. <laughs> I woke up at like 3 o'clock, man. I uh, had me a good night. How's everybody else's uh, New Year's? Anything crazy? Any wild stories you want to share with your Uncle Jesse? Ah, K Wade, I don't know about that one, man. Uh, have you heard of this dude named Kobe Bryant? You know, say, played the same position. More or less the same uh, size. And he played both defense and offense. And he was really good at both. What up, Brett? Happy New Year, my dude. Dwayne Wade, another really good shooting guard back in his heyday. You know, a lot of people forget that he's the top shot blocking guard in NBA history. You know, when he was in his prime. He would put up 40 points, and he'd shut down your best uh, offensive player, too. LeBron James, another dude that could put up 40 points and lock down your best player if he felt like it. I mean, K-Wade, not for nothing, man. I think, I think you're just making excuses for Harden. I mean, I don't know if you're a Rockets fan or not, but what up, Jamie? Happy New Year. That, that's my thing is if, if somebody else can do it why can't you you know the exceptions I don't think apply you know they're they're professionals they're both in the NBA the only difference is Harden just does not want to play defense it's really that simple of course he'd spend more energy uh, playing defense, and, and you know, continue to do his his uh, his offensive exploits. You know, traveling all over the the, the court. Uh, but you know that could that just comes down to conditioning. All right, let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. That looks fine to me. Got Braxton Barrios of the Patriots. That's the 25. I had to turn the. Uh, let me let me try to make it a little bit brighter. I just don't want the glare to be on there. I feel you though, K. Wait, I feel you. It's it's kind of hard to to compare. You know, Kobe to to anybody other than uh. Other than Michael, really. K 
kind of weird to watch NBA basketball and, and you know, not have Kobe Bryant out there somewhere. It's a little weird. Still getting used to it. It's going to be really weird when D-Wade plays his last game, man. Marquise Goodwin of the Niners to 99. Muhammad's a new Falcons, 149. I got a one box break of this stuff. If you don't get a hit, which means you don't get an autograph or a number card, you could win a box of Optic for $24. Check us out. Dalton Schultz, Cowboys rookie autograph, 25. Boom. K Wade, before you know it, y'all gonna have a team again, man. Believe it. It's just a matter of time. But y'all will have an NBA team soon again. Mark Walton Bengals to 299. Josh Norman Redskins 149. I think Vegas is going to get a basketball team and then Seattle will get a basketball team as well. Or something like that. Monsters of the Midway. Downtown insert for Anthony Miller of the Bears. Very nice. Keep it going. We got Kalen Balage of the Dolphins to one eighty nine. If he can learn to hold on to the football, he's going to be solid. Great speed for his size. But he's turnover prone. Or at least he was in his rookie year. Well, I still got another stack here. Mike Hughes of the Vikings, 149. Same thing with Gesicki, man. I really thought Gesicki was going to be a big, 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 big part of the offense as a rookie. But, you know, when your quarterback is terrible, it's going to be kind of hard. And Tannehill is terrible. What's up? What's up with the whole Antonio Brown situation? They might end up trading that guy. You know, a lot of people say Le'Veon Bell was a cancer. You know, at least he kept his mouth shut and uh, you know didn't uh, call people out or, or or anything like that. You know, the man just want to get paid. Antonio Brown, that guy is low key Terrell Owens 2.0. Incredibly talented, work ethic unparalleled, but just a diva through and through. Antonio Brown, probably the second, maybe the best receiver in the league, but man, I don't know if I would want him on my team, honestly. You know, I don't think Larry Fitzgerald is leaving the Cardinals, man. If if I were if I were Larry Fitz, I would stay. I would I would end my career there. Even if I gotta play for the the, the minimum, he's got his money already. He's gotten paid. Well, Larry's a smart guy, so I'm sure he's made some smart investments here and there throughout his time. So money wise, I think Fitz is fine, but it, it would just be super weird to see him play. With anybody else. Larry going to retire? Man, I hope not. He still looks good out there. He still catches everything you throw his way. I would like to see him play at least another two years. If you look at his numbers, he is really close to, uh, to breaking some wide receiver records. Including that uh, that Jerry Rice all-time receiving uh, record. If he, like he's on pace to break it if he can play another two, three years. And I, I would like for that to happen. Alright, second box. Let's see what we got. 
This is true though. Shoes 40 cal. What's up, my dude? Wide receiver only as good as the quarterback. These are facts. All right, let's see what we got in this box. Well, there's an eagle right there. The uh, Chris Long Eagles insert. Well, Aaron, uh, give me an autograph, man. So I know it's real. You don't just walk up to him and be like, "Hey, man, can you give me, can you can you give me an autograph for my uncle Jesse?" You know, and you know, I'm pretty sure he'll do it for you. Michael Gallup, 189, for the Cowboys. Andrew Luck, Colts, 149. Derrick Henry of the Titans, 189. Oh, A, B. Trey Coyne, Redskins, 299. Lane of Manor H of the Cowboys to 50. Dude, Juju Smith is coming on. That's probably why the Steelers will be trying to shop him around. And by he, I mean AB, Antonio Brown, because they have Juju. Mike Gesicki of the Dolphins, the rookie patch auto, to 35. Very nice. I mean, if he's going to leave somewhere, he's got to go to, like, a championship caliber team. Like the Bears or, or the Rams. Marshawn Lynch of the Raiders to 239. James Washington is really nice too for the Steelers. Like Steelers, Steelers got some weapons, man. Oh wow, Aaron. I would have broke protocol. I would have been like, listen, man, let's take this selfie right quick. <laughs> but don't tell nobody. Especially Michael Phelps and Larry Fitzgerald. I'm pretty sure those dudes are super cool. And they'd be like, yeah, man, no problem. Brett, think about it, though. Think about it. A man of his caliber, he's got to go to a Super Bowl-ready team. You know what I mean? He, or a contending team. So I could see him going to, like, probably not the Patriots because they're, they're probably going to want to... If they're going to get rid of AB, they're going to want him out of the conference. So he's, he's got to go to the NFC side of things. I could see him with the Rams. I could see him with, uh, shit, I could see him with the Eagles. Nah, don't sleep on James Washington, James. Don't sleep on James Washington. That kid's going to be nice. My thing is this, man. I think Antonio Brown is out of there. He he pretty much sabotaged this team. The lot, dude, when they needed him the most, he spazzes out on Ben Roethlisberger. He doesn't practice the entire week, and he doesn't play the last game of the season when you need him the most. That I don't want a player like that on my team, man. Like, I don't care how good you are, I don't want you on my team. And Mike Tomlin has kind of lost that locker room. I don't think Mike Tomlin's job is in jeopardy. But something's got to give out there. Something's got to give. 
And why do you think the coaches deactivated him, JMS? Because he refused to practice. He refused. He refused to. Uh, like he he was arguing with Ben Roethlisberger or something. I, I was watching an interview earlier today with Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark played with the guy, and even he came out and was like, "Yeah, that's just a B. A B is a diva. A B is a me guy. A B cares about his numbers. A A B is not a team player." Speaking of A B, there he is. And it's true. If you if you look at you know the guy wants to be the highest paid receiver in the, in the NFL, and when he doesn't get the ball, he's crying. It's man, Jimmy G. Two ninety nine. He was upset the Steelers gave MVP to Juju, and even more so, bro. Even more, like, come on, that's come on. Jordan Wilkins, two ninety nine. Coach, like, how insecure are you? Yeah, I think I think AB is done out there, man. I think AB is done. In 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 Pittsburgh anyway. Jameis Winston of the Bucks to 299. Ooh, I could see him with this. Ooh, with the Saints? Ooh! That would be nasty. Or with the Vikings. Oh no, although they got they got a nice receiving core out there. Tremaine Evans of the Bills, 99. Maybe with the Seahawks? Him and Doug Baldwin. Ballin. Tyler Lockett too. Woo! Chargers would be nice. They're in the AFC, though. You know, at least, at least Le'Veon Bell stuff was behind the scenes. Like, you never heard Le'Veon Bell, you know, at least I didn't hear any reports of him, like, bad-mouthing the Steelers or anything like that. Like, the man just wanted to get paid. That's it. Like, he just wanted to get paid. That's all. Antonio Brown, on the other hand, is a problem. Doug Baldwin, Seahawks, 299. Ooh, Antonio Brown to the Bears would be insane. Mark Andrews, 199 Ravens. Give Biscuit another uh, another target. Ooh, or the Packers. Him and Aaron Rodgers. Ooh! That'd be disgusting. What's up, MN Cards? Well, this is true. I mean, this is true. You know, receivers are divas by nature. Mika Fitzpatrick for the Dolphins to 75. I think if they're going to get rid of Antonio Brown, he's out of the conference. I, I don't think they would trade him to, like, especially a division rival in, in Cleveland. That would be, uh, that'd be not smart. Especially to Cleveland of all teams who, who is trending upwards. And is going to be a serious contender in that division moving forward. I, I think he's out of the conference. Dude, Aaron Rodgers and Antonio Brown would be a disgusting combo. I did, Jamie. I did see that. I did see that. I was watching a video where some dude was like trying to like read their lips. I don't know if I don't know if it was true or not. But Kirk Cousins was basically telling Adam Thielen on the sidelines, like, dude, I don't have 10 seconds to get you the ball. You got to get open in like two or three seconds. Well, MN Cards literally just talking about that. Did you uh, did you see Adam Thielen and Kirk Cousins go at it on the sidelines? Ah, well, JMS, are you really going to just downplay what the kid has done the entire season on one play? Of course, yes. It was a huge play. and But, I mean, come on. They, they, they lost other games. They tied a game. Like, it's not like you, you, you really can't. That's, that's really not. That was really not. That's really not fair, JMS. That is really not fair to Juju. Juju went out there and put up 100 yards like every game. You know, it's not... Is, is it Juju's fault that the Steelers have a terrible defense? You know what I'm saying? Is it Juju's fault that Le'Veon Bell decided not to play the entire season? Like, there, there's only so much a guy can do. 
the fumble was huge. Don't misunderstand. But I, I definitely would not put the entire season on Juju like that. Given what the kid did, year, you know, all year long. Well, JMS, regardless, 100 yards is 100 yards. Whether he, that, that, that's irrelevant. The man still got to catch the ball. The man still got to put it in the end zone. No Steelers hits just yet, Brandon. But that is the topic of the conversation right now. Uh, Zachary, no, I have not. That has not shipped out yet. That'll ship out later this week. I agree, JMS. I agree. I agree on that one. Well, you got it, Zach. Redemption. I wonder what that is. I think they're going to deal Antonio Brown, man. I really do. Doug Baldwin of the Seahawks to 189. Nice. The downtown insert for Saquon Barkley of the Giants. Very nice. Brandon, are you a Steeler fan? Yo, I would trade a few. I would trade a first round draft pick. And maybe like a second or a third for AB easily. Canyon Drake of the Dolphins to 149. What up, Brian G? Joe Flacco, 299 Ravens. Joe Flacco might be joining the Dolphins the offseason. I'll take Joe Flacco. Dude, I'll take Joe Flacco. I'll take Blake Bortles. I'll take, bro, I'll take motherfucking Fitzpatrick. I'll take anybody but Ryan Tannehill. Josh Adams of the Eagles to 189. DJ Moore, Panthers rookie. Yeah, don't. Keen's dad, bring up Jay Cutler one more time, see what happens. Watch your card just mysteriously nugget to you. Calvin Ridley, Falcons on 49. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Luke Falk is the Dolphins quarterback. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Mike Gesicki, Dolphins 299. Steelers would be out $27 million if they decide to trade Antonio Brown. At this point, man, I would do it. I feel like the Steelers' window has closed to like try to win a championship. They didn't even make the playoffs. Adam Thielen, Vikings to 50. You got me there, uh, Keen's dead. Fair enough. All right, let's see what this redemption is. Hopefully it's a big name. It is Caleb Balage, the rated rookie autograph red for the Dolphins. Dolphins so far with three autographs. Very nice. Dolphins finally winning at something. There you go. Two boxes left. This Ohio State Washington game starting to turn into a little blowout here. I wish the Dolphins would ha had played Luke Falk the last game of the season. I mean, what are you playing for? Eight and eight? Are you kidding me? Might as well put Luke Falk out there. Give give the rookies some playing time and see what see what you got moving forward. So you know what? In hindsight. 
I'm kind of glad we got rid of Adam Gase. Brandon, I have no idea. I mean, I could show you a few Steelers if that's what you want to see. Look, watch. I'll show you a Steeler right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now, see, there's one right there. Pretty sure there's another one around here. There's definitely Steelers. You just got to be patient. What? You got to be patient. Be patient, Brandon. And if you were a good boy last year, might hit you a little Mason Rudolph or a James Washington or something like that. Are you trolling me right now, K-Wade? Because it feels like you're trolling me. Yeah, Keen's dad, it's, you know, it's, it is, it is sad, it is sad, but, that's why, that's why it really starts with the head, it starts with the head coach, you know, Adam Gase, cool, calm, and collected dude, said all the right things, but never really came through, my thing is, like, I, I feel like, and especially in the NFL, like, if you don't win, you're out of a job in like a year or two. So it's kind of hard to establish a culture or, or anything like that if you're getting rid of your coach in like two or three seasons. So I don't know, man. Hope What the Dolphins need to do is hire Shula again. Hire Shula. <laughs> hire Shula and Jimmy Johnson, man. And have them boys be the dual head coach. Uh, that is correct, Brandon. That is correct. I mean, it says so up here, big guy. No, no, no. Not, not Shula. Put Greasy at quarterback. He still looks good. He still looks good. We got James Washington. There's the Steeler right there to 75. You see? Asking you shall receive. You must have been a good boy last year, Brandon. There you go. Oh, Dolphins. God, that man. I love my team, but damn it, I wish I followed like the Patriots or, or like a good team or something, man. Kirk Cousins of the Vikings, 289. You know, I wanted Kirk Cousins in a Dolphins uniform. I'm kind of glad we didn't pursue that guy. Josh Allen of the Bills, 289. You know, I'm sure Vikings fans don't want to hear this, but he's kind of not good. Aitman, 289 Raiders. Like, he has his moments, but I think I read a stat somewhere that he was 1-6 against uh, winning teams. That is uh, not a good stat. J.J. Watt of the Texans to 149. So now that uh, we can look forward to the draft, is there any who who's the number one overall pick in the in college football? Well, Cody, shame on you, shame on you, Cody. Jameis Winston 299 bucks. How dare you? How dare you? I got one box left. You can't even say hi. You come to my house. You don't even say hello. And you're already making requests at the end? Shame on you, Cody. Cole in your stockings right now. Ray Ray McLeod of the Bills, 149. Yeah, at least say hi, you know? Man, manners, manners, manners. I know, Cody. I'm just giving you shit. Hopefully, I can pull you a little Barkley or a Tom Brady mojo up in this thing. I do have one box left, so there is that. I mean, not for nothing, dude. You you got the Saquon Barkley downtown. Uh, I'm not sure what the Giants sold for, but I can pretty much guarantee you, you made your money back in then. So with this hit right there, the downtown uh, inserts are selling pretty good. Josh Rosen of the Cardinals. Speaking of downtowns, right there. 
What's that? Boza to the Niners with the number one pick. Somebody said that earlier, too. What is that? Joey Boza's brother? Little brother? I want to know who, like, who's that sleeper kid? There's got to be someone somewhere, somewhere in college football. Somebody's going to be the, the sleeper pick. I wonder who's going to be. What's up, Hitless? What up, MJ10? Canucks, Dub NYK? Over on Breakers, how y'all doing? So it's going to be straight defensive picks. We're gonna be we're gonna see straight. Well, who who does Boza play for? Ohio State, right? So it's gonna be. Well, Cardinals definitely need help on defense. What up, Jimbo? Gardner Minshew, the sleeper pick of 2019. Dwayne Haskins, first quarterback going to the Giants. They already got their quarterback, man. Y'all going to stop disrespecting Eli Manning. Y'all really going to stop disrespecting Eli Manning. I'm, I'm, ti I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the disrespect to Eli. Let, we, we're, let, let's not pretend like the man did not beat Tom Brady in the playoffs twice. In the Super Bowl, for that matter. The man's a two-time champ. Put some respect on his name. It's not Eli's fault that he has probably one of the worst O-lines in, in all of football. What up, David? Hello, Bergy. Happy New Year, folks. How you doing, Berg? Oh, there you go, Jimbo. I don't even know what pick we have as far as the Dolphins are concerned. I like us at corner. I think we're okay at cornerback. I think our DBs are okay. I think what we need help is we need we need help on that D line. I don't know. I don't know what pick we have. I want. I think we have the thirteenth pick or something like that. Pick for the 15th pick. I think we're going to go D-line. D-line or linebacker. But our fir like the first three rounds, we should focus on our defense. I think offensively, we're okay. We, you know, we suffered a lot of injuries. But, I mean, if we don't have a quarterback, then th there's, there's really no point. Hopefully, Luke Falk is the guy. Tyreek Hill. Chiefs on 49, or, you know, hopefully we can make a trade. Pick up Flacco for a year or two while we wait for that kid out of Clemson to, to come out of college. What up, Moody? James Washington, 149. Steelers, Happy New Year, my dude. As far as the store is concerned, uh, dude, we got Bowman's Best close to filling, Playbook Football close to filling, that Contenders Basketball close to filling as well. And I have a little promo going today. Every PYT that we fill on the website, I will give away $100. Uh, two people will win, or I should say two spots, will win $50 each for a total of $100. So you could potentially win the 100 bucks if you buy enough spots in a break. So that's that's what I got going on today. Then I can trail, Chargers on 49 Earl Thomas would be nice to pick up for the Dolphins. Have him and Rashad Jones back there. Luke Falk, Luke Falk, are you going to be that guy? It, were, it really would have been nice for the Dolphins to play their rookies the last game of the season, but no. 
I should I should try to be the head coach for the Dolphins. I wonder. Well, can, can anybody get me uh, an interview? That'd be nice. Devontae Booker, one forty nine Broncos. Never coached a day in my life, but I got I got gusto. Yeah, the quarterback out of Clemson, that freshman, that kid's gonna be nice, but he is a freshman. Quill Nelson of the Colts, ninety nine. I'm pretty sure he's gonna play at least another two years in college. At least. Man, this was a break for the Dolphins. Turn Smythe to thirty five. Dolphins autograph. Very nice. I think I would be a great head coach as, as in terms of like motivation and things of that nature. X's and O's though, I'm definitely gonna you know depend on my uh, coordinators for that. But as far as getting you ready to play on Sunday, I'm 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 there. Greg Olson, Panthers to ninety nine. Balage, hell no, Moody, hell no. The kid turns the ball over way too much. He's got to learn how to hang on to that thing. But I think he'll be a nice. I think he'll be a nice running back. As soon as he learns how to not turn that ball over. Anyways, Mickey. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, my man. Can't win them all, my guy. So this is the recap. We got Rosen Cardinals downtown, Barkley Giants, and Miller Bears. All right. I'm pretty sure if you had the Dolphins, you don't feel like this was a waste because they hit a lot. Durham Smythe of the Dolphins to 35. James Washington Steelers to 75. What up, Scott? Cam Balazs, Dolphins. Raider Rookie Auto Red. Mega Fitzpatrick Dolphins to 75. Dalton Schultz of the Cowboys to 25. And Mike Gesicki of the Dolphins to 35. So if you had the Dolphins in this thing, well, Happy New Year to you. <laughs> That's going to do it for the break. Thank y'all. We'll get it out to you.